Aren't you sick and tired of all the videos out there on YouTube teaching you how to have this happy, positive, optimal trip that can better your life? There's heaps of this garbage on YouTube. Like this guy. There's no videos out there teaching you how to have a horrible, traumatic trip that can potentially ruin your life. I mean, that's what I want. It's good to have variety, don't you think? But don't worry guys, your mate Tom is here to save the day. I have constructed a foolproof plan which covers the five essential steps that can help you have the worst trip of your life. Guaranteed, or money back. If you're one of those weirdos who uses psychedelics for healing and self-development, then this video isn't for you, and I would advise doing the complete opposite of everything that I say in this video. You want to make sure that you're in a really negative headspace before undergoing a psychedelic trip. The more depressed, the better. If you have like a severe mental illness or something like psychosis, bonus points. A great tip to get you in a negative headspace is to start thinking about really negative stuff. Even really dark shit like demons or other dark supernatural phenomena. You could watch a horror movie beforehand or watch some really fucked up videos on the internet. That would definitely set you up. Now the reason for this is that the chances of you going to the cesspool of your own psyche and having a terrifying, horrible trip is greatly increased. And if you're really lucky, you can even get consumed by demons in your trip that can really fuck up your life. Pretty cool, yeah? Don't be doing psychedelics in a safe, unpredictable environment where nothing or no one is going to disturb you. That's for pussies. Do not trip with close friends or family that you trust. You want to do it either alone or even find a complete stranger who you know nothing about. Excuse me, mate. Uh, do you want to take magic mushrooms with me? Which one? Do you want to take mushrooms with me? I have some mushrooms. Yeah, do you want to take some? No? no. no? Alright, all right, thanks man. Have a good day. Or just choose someone who's very untrustworthy and unpredictable. This will ensure bad trip potentiality. You want to be in an environment where there are as many variables as possible. The more unpredictable, the better. Public places are perfect for this and are the perfect candidate for having a bad trip. Having a trip at a respectable retreat or at the comforts of your own home, that ain't gonna work. You don't want a guide or a trip sitter. That'd be stupid because that'd get you out of that bad trip. Here are some location ideas that may aid you on your bad trip journey. These are just a couple examples, feel free to be creative. If you really want to have a bad trip, then having a psychedelic substance in and of itself is a rookie mistake. Mixing it with another substance or substances is the way to go. This is because the unpredictability factors of how multiple drugs interact with your body goes exponentially higher. Having another drug on top of a psychedelic is an awesome way to result in an unpredictable trip. So choose your drug. Alcohol, speed, coke, juice, ketamine, heroin, scopolamine, bath salts, DXM, crack cocaine, synthetic weed, even other psychedelics. Go nuts. And if you really want to step it up a notch, mix Datura, Salvia, 5-MeO-DMT and PCP together. If that won't fuck you up for life, I don't know what will. Whatever you do, do not let go and surrender. During the trip, resist and hold on as much as humanely possible to this realm. Don't you dare give your soul the satisfaction of the universe flowing through you. Use this beautiful ego that we have and cling on to this physical dimension. Whatever thought or emotion comes up, judge it, analyze it and resist it. This is the key, like you won't win, but you'll succeed in having a terrible day. You might even get thrown into the abyss if you're really lucky, that place is scary. Be as ignorant as you possibly can by not doing any research on the substance that you're taking. For God's sake, don't actually test your substances, that'll be silly. I mean, what kind of person would want to research and test their substance if they want to have a bad trip? A silly person, that's who. For example, most LSD tabs sold in the streets are actually very dangerous substances called M-bombs, which has caused many overdoses with just as little as three tabs. If you're one of those weird people who actually respects psychedelics and want to know what you're taking, then I'll leave a link to a test kit that you can get. Also, another great tip is to not study subjects like psychology, duality, consciousness, spirituality, and the nature of your own ego. This is because learning all this nonsense will prepare you for the trip and help you navigate through the psychedelic experience more effectively. You don't want that. You want to be going into this experience as ignorant as possible, as this will almost guarantee a very confusing trip which you're just not going to understand. This would be like getting thrown in the middle of the Pacific Ocean without a guide or a lighthouse. Okay, so now that we've gone through the main guidelines, just remember the Bumry principle. Be in a negative mindset, unfamiliar setting, 
mixed with other drugs, resist ignorance. If you follow this bummery principle to the T, then you might be lucky and have a terror-filled traumatic trip that can fuck you up for life. This could cause severe mental damage and can even trigger a drug-induced psychosis. Mm, that sounds like fun. That's it for the video, guys. I just wanted to have a bit of fun and try something new. So yeah, let us know if you enjoyed this type of content. Next week's video is going to be a lot more serious, so you'll know what I mean, but yeah, good to balance things out. Even though I'm quite obviously joking, there are going to be some people who think I'm serious, so please, for the love of God, do not do anything that I mention in this video. It's called satire. Just because these tools have amazing healing potential, it doesn't mean that they can cause a lot of harm if you don't do it in the right set and setting. And I know that there's a lot of people in the community who say that there's no such thing as a bad trip and it's, just, and it's beneficial for you and yada 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 and hey, I used to say this all the time and I do believe this but there's a certain point where bad trips don't become beneficial anymore and can become traumatic in and of itself. So yeah, I guess the whole point of this video is just to be safe and treat these tools with the most utmost respect. Otherwise these tools can eat you up and shit you out into the abyss. Trust me, I've been there. The reason why I'm recording out here in my backyard as well is I wanted to share some things with you guys. First of all, I apologize that this video came out late. I have not only been dealing with some personal stuff in my life, but yeah, this financial stress has definitely been getting to me because, yeah, my funds are getting like lower and lower and lower and I'm, yeah, having to look at other avenues and, hey, you know, I would love to focus on this channel full time, but unfortunately, just the funds that I get is not even enough. And I'm not saying this out of ungratefulness. In fact, I practice gratitude every single day. But unfortunately, we live in a society that's built on money, which we need to survive. And hey, I want to live my own life. I want to move out. I want to travel. I want to do all these things. But yeah, just a bit of a predicament. <laughs> Thank you to all you beautiful people who are supporting me on Patreon. Hopefully we can reach at least this first milestone by the end of the month. This will at least take a little bit of the stress away. Definitely not enough for me to like move out and things like that, but it's a good start. And I know that you guys are probably sick and tired of me talking about Patreon. Hey, I hate talking about it too, I really do. But right now it's the only source of income I'm getting and this channel takes so much time and effort and it's, it's a lot of work. I want to announce as well that I'm going to be launching my merch store perhaps next week. Don't quote me on that, but very soon. And with Patreon as well, I'm going to start adding more perks. So hopefully it gives people more incentive to pledge. I am starting to upload more exclusive content and will be uploading like uncut scenes. For example, the ayahuasca documentary, which will be the next video that I release. I uh, will be releasing a kind of like a director's uncut edition. I'm also uploading the Aboga update I recorded for Adam because he cut a lot of it out and just things like that. So, you know, hopefully you guys enjoy that. I'm also going to be giving away a t-shirt every month to people who pledge $2 or more. And I've also released a poll in which you guys can vote on which t-shirt designs you like the best and whoever votes and comments, um, you'll be in the run to win it. But that's it guys. For those who've been watching this far, I'm going to leave you a tiny little sneak peek on the ayahuasca doco which will be the next video on this channel i don't know if it's definitely going to be out next week because like i said i have been going through a lot of financial stress at the moment so i'm having to you know focus on other stuff but yeah it'll definitely be the next video that comes out hopefully next week enjoy ayahuasca definitely shook me to my very core and made me go through my absolute worst fear it was a living nightmare. <laughs> <laughs>